Hi, my name is Andrew Prokop from Aerosystems Integration. I want to show you the work that we've been doing with integrating Watson into uh, Avaya Breeze. So I have three different tasks here. This is the start of what I've been doing. Um, one of them is called Aero Detection, um, and that will go out and use Watson to determine the language of a uh, of text that comes in. So I can send in a phrase, that, you know, something like that says, uh, here we go, snow is coming, and it will come back and tell me what language it thinks it is. It will tell me what the confidence of its choice as well, and they can have multiple choices, um, some really high values and some very, 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 very low values. Um, arrow translation, send in that same text, here we go, snow is coming, and it will come back and it will translate that from the target language, um, in this case English, to any of the languages that Watson supports, um, you know, German, French, Italian, uh, Aramaic, things like that. And then um, the uh, arrow conversation is natural language processing. So I can send in um, words, some text, and then it will process those uh, and it will tell me what the intent of this is. And I'm going to show you a demo in just a second. The intent of this, these words, um, any, any entities or modifiers to this intent. And then it will also give me Things that I can, you know, if I'm building like a text bot, it will give me phrases that I can send in response to receiving this text. So before I do that, though, let me quickly go over uh, to uh, Watson, uh, especially in terms of the conversations. Uh, Watson has a tool that allows me to build conversations. Here's the one that I built for this demo, which I just called the conversation tutorial. Inside of this conversation tutorial, I have to intent, goodbye, if I open up goodbye, you can see the things that I use to train goodbye. So when Watson hears any of these things or reads any of those things, it says, well, the intent of this is goodbye. Now this is artificial intelligence, so I don't have to enter every single possibility. It will be able to learn on its own uh, other ways of saying goodbye. And then I have the same thing for hello. Uh, I mentioned entities, I could build entities. I can build my own custom entities, or I can build system entities. Things like, um, I, you know, something like, I am leaving. That's the uh, intent is goodbye. I am leaving tomorrow. The intent is goodbye, but the sys time is tomorrow. So I get an intent and an entity. And then I mentioned the fact that this can be used to build dialogue. So if I come over here and click on the goodbye intent, I can say, when you get the goodbye, when you, when you notice a condition that's a, a goodbye intent, I want to respond back with see you later, the same thing for hello, or I can have catch-alls where it gets things that it doesn't know, and I can have a variety of different uh, phrases that I can respond back with, and then my application can decide how to process that. So let's go back to uh, the Breeze uh, interface, Engagement Designer again, so open up, very simple application. Um, this is just my quick tester tool. And down here, Watson 2. It's again very basic. I run through all the tasks. I have a number of properties that I set so that I can drag those over um, into the task as inputs. So this is pretty hard coded at this point. I would, um, you know, a future version, I will um, run this through uh, text messaging. So I will text uh, things in and then Watson will process, you know, breeze and then Watson will process those. Starting from the back, I have arrow translation. Uh, so I'm passing in, this is a test, I'm telling it's English, I want to translate it to French. Uh, in arrow detection, I'm passing one of my properties in, and I'm telling it, tell me what the language of that property is. In this case, the words are, uh, this is a test of my next task. And then uh, arrow conversation, where I'm passing in a conversation, and then I'm telling um, um, the... Uh, a Watson to determine what this is, how should I process this, uh, I should, what are the intents, what are the entities, and then how should I process this in terms of what sort of responses would come back. Let's go over and let's run this thing. So go over to workflows, run it. Okay, we have one. You can see the one I ran before. Let's open it up and let's open it like the arrow translation, and we passed in, um, I think this is a test, uh, excuse my bad French, so ceci uh, est un test. If I had changed this to German, it would have obviously been a German translation. 
and my arrow detection, I passed in this is a test of my next task, and it came back, and I've left everything in JSON for now, so it's coming back with all the JSON that Watson returns. It says, I am very confident, nearly 100% confidence this is English, and I get lower and lower confidence. I hear German, Deutsch. I'm very, this is a very low confidence. Notice the, the negative seven, so this is 0 .000073 uh, confidence that this is uh, German. Um, and then arrow conversation, if I open this up, don't open it twice, if I open it up, and so I passed it, I'm out of here, and so it receives the text, I'm out of here, the intent it determines is goodbye, and then the output it comes back with is see you later, and again, that was built in the Watson application. So um, imagine building lots of different conversations for lots of different situations and then passing the text into those different conversations for a text bot or even just processing uh, other forms of data that are coming at you within inside the Breeze application and making some determination as to what to do with this. If we go back to the work that I did with IoT, that perhaps what we can do is we can pass in IoT information um, and then come back with what's the response uh, for this. If the temperature is greater than uh, you know, 100, then we'll come back with the response of, hey, turn on the air conditioning or something else that we can use to uh, automatically uh, process this condition. One last thing I want to show you, um, I always uh, pretty much start with uh, Python, so I write all my tests in Python and then I move them over to, to uh, Java and then uh, to uh, for Breeze, but Python's an easy language to prototype in. So if we run this application here, <laughs> Um, it does everything that we just saw before, things like, um, you know, uh, this is a test. I'll do the same thing, or say, uh, from English to French, if I translate it, and it will say the CCS un test. Let's now go to uh, German. My German accent is even worse, and Italian. Um, oh, and notice we have a, a character that um, is not um, a normal ASCII character, so that's probably an accent on the um, on the un. Um, I can do things. Uh, I can do all the other stuff that I did before. If I can list all the languages that Watson supports, so a lot of different languages in there. Let's take this a little bit further. Let's look at uh, the natural language processing. So uh, I haven't built this into Breeze yet. That's my next big task. Um, but I have it in Python, so it shouldn't be too hard. Let's put something like, I like the Rolling Stone. And then what I want to do is I want to tell it to uh, analyze this for certain things. So I want to pick concepts, entities, and keywords. <clears throat> and then it comes back and says, oh, well, I found this uh, resource on the web, which is the Rolling Stones. Um, the joy um, is pretty good. Well, it's not too bad, 0.39. Uh, anger, disgust, fear, sadness. Sadness is higher than I would expect it to. I'm not really sure why. Maybe uh, Watson doesn't like the Rolling Stones. Um, but I'm analyzing it for a, a variety of different things. I can come back and say I love the Rolling Stones. Let's analyze it this time for uh, emotion and sentiment. And, uh, oh, our joy factor has gone up somewhat. Uh, the sadness factor has gone down. Um, we don't have much disgust. We don't have much fear. I can say, like, I hate the Rolling Stones. Oops, I have to select the emotion sentiment. Hate the Rolling Stones. And it comes back and says, oh, the, um, the disgust factor, factor has gone up. The anger factor has gone up. Let's try really. Does this make a difference if I really hate the Rolling Stones? Emotion and fear. And um, anger is, uh, I think that was a little higher, I can't remember, um, disgust. Uh, there's very little joy in Mudsville today, and, it's a, and I forgot to show you this before, we have a very negative interpretation. We can do the same thing over here with web pages. So I can go to analyzeavaya.com. Uh, Let's analyze that for uh, emotion and sentiment. And so I <clears throat> analyze the web page, so Watson can analyze web pages as well. And it's going to go back and it's going to uh, eventually tell me all the text that it found that it analyzed. And then it was things like, uh, well, you know, you've got a fairly joyful website here, 0.62. Uh, you, very little fear. You've got some sadness again. I'm not sure why. We'd have to go back and look at the web page to see where the sadness is coming from. And the disgust and the anger. Uh, 
Oh, look at this. Um, so it, it found your uh, web page, and it's a, overall it's a positive uh, view. We can enter other web pages as well, and then analyze them for other different things. Um, uh, but you get the picture. So this is the one I want to build in next into uh, brief. So there we go. This is the work I've been doing. Uh, I hope you. I hope this helps you understand uh, the power behind uh, a Watson integration. There are many more tools in what side of Watson. What you're seeing is just the work that I've done so far. I plan to take this even further, bringing this Watson work into Breeze uh, for uh, workflow uh, analysis and um, processing. So thanks for your time. Bye-bye.